September uh, 2023. So guys, uh, President Emerson Nangagwa raised an almost empty auditorium at the 78th session of the United Nations General Assembly, UNGA 78 in New York, US on Thursday. Prominent opposition lawyer Fadzema Heri said Nangagwa's speech was a, as vacant as the whole it was delivered in. She posted on X, this is the world stage, where are your groundbreaking ideas, thought leadership or rousing call to action, lies and empty promises will take us nowhere. The speech was as vacant as the whole it was delivered in. In his address, Nangagwa stressed that it was imperative for the nations to work together to strengthen international institutions for the accelerated attainment of Agenda 2030. He also said that Zimbabweans have enjoyed peace before, during and after the 2023 harmonized elections. Nangagwa called upon Western powers to unconditionally lift the sanctions they imposed on Zimbabwe, saying they were designed to subjugate the sovereign will of the Zimbabwean people. Zimbabwe's leader said for the last three years the country has been the fastest growing economy in the southern African region. Nangagwa demanded that global financial institutions be reformed so that they deliver resources to all countries for economic development. He also condemned global powers for allegedly funding conflicts and the unconditional changes of governments for their own narrow interests. And so guys, that's the latest here. And the man addressed uh, the UN uh, General Assembly uh, on Thursday. It was as empty as ever. And we don't know why, but seems like uh, anyway, the man delivered a very good speech of which I feel like uh, you know, my speeches are not going to go but at the end of the day, uh, it will be the opposite of what they'll be doing on the ground. Same as Amukabe. Amukabe is to deliver uh, you know, very good speeches, but you know, on the ground, it will be totally the opposite of what uh, he is reading. And I don't know what he is reading, but at the end of the day, I don't know what he is reading, but at the end of the day, I don't know what he is reading, but at the end of the day, I don't know what he is reading, I think I share the opposite of what he is saying on that paper. But anyway, it is what it is. This is Weekly News Roundup on Prince Manager Timmy TV. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, comment, and follow and attend on the notification bell. So that won't miss any of our new uploads that you do upload here each and every day from Monday to Monday. We are here. Weekly News Roundup. Pleasure.